<laughs> and uh, went to a discipleship training school, and now they're in mission for Love Four in Calico. So uh, I think I want both of them to come up and give a word of prophecy over their lives before. This is such a precious time for the families to just stand and recognize their daughter on each side as they begin, like you said, this is the first step in many steps of their stages of life. But it's always key to recognize that this moment in time is when they're actually being released from their parents out on their own. And this could be the determining factor for each one of these guys. Because I'm telling you right now, once you step out of this, always remember your beginnings, what your parents have instructed you. Zachariah says that do not despise small beginnings, those areas where your parents and your grandparents spoke into your lives. And no matter where you go in the world, if the world may sift you, but let your faith stand. That's exactly what Jesus prayed over Peter, that the enemy was sifting and shaking you but I pray that your faith will hold you. And that's our prayer for you guys today as you guys step out into the world and what God calls you, that you will shine for Him no matter what you do. And when you're tried and tested, stand on your faith and let that not be shaken. And if you're not by your parents, just remember, be prayed up, packed up, and look up for your Redeemer is always here to you all the time. All right, I'll make this quick summary. And he has always told you that you will sing for the Lord. You will play, and you have the note of David. Like you have a heart to sing for God. So anytime you're feeling down, lonely, just pick up that instrument your papa showed you and your anointing in your family, and sing for the Lord, and He will tell you how to go. Anytime you're not sure what to do. You sing and he will speak to you. And so your family represented here is just to show you that God has you even when you thought you was abandoned. You was never abandoned in the sight of the Lord. And so this Kava'aho family was the family that God chose, picked, and fashioned just for you to make you tough so that you can handle what is ahead for you. So look at your parents, your physical parents, and just know that they took you as if you were from their inner beings because they love you so much. And your siblings, look at your siblings here. They're here because they're saying that we are one. And so just notice when you go out there, I know your mother over here, Crystal, is gonna be like one more girl going and following you because she loves you and wants you to walk in the ways of God. So that's the word of the Lord. Sing for the Lord, play your music for the Lord, and he will tell you where to go. Now, Miss 